Imagine a single wrong move, a slip of the hand, leading to a fatal dose of radiation from an object known chillingly as the Demon Core. This is the harrowing tale of Louis Slotin at Los Alamos, 1946. A brilliant Canadian physicist, Slotin was a key figure in the Manhattan Project, tasked with performing dangerous criticality tests on fissile materials. These experiments, designed to bring uranium and plutonium assemblies to the brink of a chain reaction, were perilous, pushing scientific understanding with rudimentary safety protocols. On May 21, 1946, Slotin was demonstrating a crucial experiment to colleagues. He was manually manipulating two beryllium hemispheres around a plutonium core, using a screwdriver to maintain a tiny separation, preventing the core from going supercritical. It was a procedure he'd performed dozens of times, an act of sheer nerve and precision. But on this day, his screwdriver slipped. The hemispheres closed fully around the core. A blue flash illuminated the room, accompanied by a wave of heat. Slotin instantly pulled the hemispheres apart, breaking the chain reaction. The damage was done. He had absorbed a lethal dose of radiation, estimated at over 2100 rads. He spent nine agonizing days in the hospital, his body ravaged by acute radiation sickness, before succumbing. The core, thereafter dubbed the Demon Core, served as a stark, tragic reminder of the immense risks involved in unlocking atomic power.